The fingers, hand, and forearm plays a very important role in our badminton careers, or even just for fun badminton. It's very important because we do a lot of shifting of the grip, and the stronger our fingers, our hand, and our forearms would be, it will help our shoulder and keep everything away from injury. Like I've always said, it's always good to work on each muscle group. So in this video, I'll be giving you exercises that you can use to strengthen your fingers, your hand, and your forearm. This exercise is called the drop and grab. This is specifically good for working out your fingers and your hand in general. So you can take a tube of shuttlecock and just drop and grab, drop and grab, okay? It might look easy, but then it's really, really b very beneficial because you work on your fingers, you work on the hand, and your forearm as well. So for people who find the tube a little bit too big, you can get any um, water bottle that's smaller and then just drop and grab. The water has a bit of weight, so it, it's also good. So this is one way to strengthen your fingers and your hand and your forearm. You can also do this with a, with a light dumbbell. So it really depends on um, how strong you are. So the stronger you are, the better you can handle heavier things. But please do, um, do, do it with enough caution. Like when you're going to use a dumbbell, make sure you won't drop it on your feet because you don't want to injure yourself that way. Our next exercise is called the finger curls. It looks very similar to a wrist curl, but we're putting emphasis on rolling down the dumbbell to your fingers, therefore working it. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look. Um, as much as you can, if you're not as strong yet, I'd rather you get a table where you can put your forearm and then put out your wrist slightly out with the dumbbell so in case you also drop it it's far away from you you won't drop it on your feet so this is how you roll it down to your fingers and then fingers roll up roll down roll up so this is very very good to work on your fingers now why do we put emphasis on working on our fingers well that's because you need finger strength as you change your grip from shifting the grip and the stronger your fingers are, it trickles down to your wrists, to your forearms, to your shoulders, and everything will be strong. So it's very important that we work on each body part that we feel will be very helpful in our game. So you can also do it standing up, this, this finger curl. But again, I hope there's something blocking your feet so that when you drop it, it's just gonna drop on the table, but also make sure that the table won't break. So drop, okay, finger curls, down, up, down, up. See, the only thing why I also want you to put it on the table is so that all the work, all the emphasis is really on your fingers and your wrist. Because if you're standing, you have some certain movements with your body, therefore the body is also absorbing it. So if you keep your forearm steady and it's just your fingers really moving, then we are able to work on what we target and to do. A simple finger exercise would just be doing a close open movement. Start by putting your fingers in a fist position, then opening it, opening your fingers in its full capacity and closing it, okay? You can start by just doing this, and then eventually you can speed it up. Do it by time. You're gonna feel the fingers, the hand, the forearms really working. And this is really, really good. I highly, highly recommend. You can do this while you're watching TV. You know, you can always do some extra workouts without feeling like you are working out. So this is very simple. You can even do this every day. This won't injure you in any way. So just open the fingers open and close it. Another good hand fingers exercise would be the grippers. Okay, so when you're not doing anything, 
you can just sit sit down watch TV or watch your Netflix and just do this this is really really helpful it really strengthens even until your forearm you'll feel it all the way to your elbow so this is very very good okay and um, maybe before you buy one you can like test it at the store to check you know how tight it is because if it's too hard and you can't grip it you can't close it then it's useless you want something that's going to challenge you but at the same time you know um, it's not extremely extremely hard okay so that that slight push okay so this is how it looks this is how it looks this exercise is called the wrist curl we're very particular in strengthening our wrist because in badminton we do so many movements that involve the wrist so if we do not strengthen it we're gonna end up overusing it and hurting it so the wrist curl would look like this I'd rather again you have a table put your forearm on the table you can go one arm at a time if if you have that luxury of time to do it one arm at a time I'd rather you do that so that you have focus on one arm and even on your non-dominant hand take the time to do it so that you can balance off strengthening both arms so you will start with the regular wrist curl okay so I'm keeping my forearm on a table so that the focus is solely on the wrist okay so this is how you do it if you want to do it with both hands you can go up this way so this is the regular wrist curl okay you can do about 20 reps of this um, in three sets and then after this regular wrist curl you can go reverse okay so this time my palm is facing down and I'm lifting the dumbbell up so again if you want to put emphasis on one arm first okay focus on it make sure you're doing it correctly and do the drill okay so this is the reverse wrist curl okay these are very very good for badminton athletes you will see them doing this very often in different variations another variation of the wrist curl is to do it while we're squatting so this is slightly more for the advanced players so you squat a bit okay make sure when you squat that your knees don't go over the toes so push your hip backward so that your toes is just slightly in front of the ankle put your forearm on your thigh and then do the wrist curl okay so this is the regular wrist curl and then when you want to do the reverse wrist curl then just put the palm down facing down and then do the reverse wrist curl so this is kind of hitting two birds with one stone you're working on your squats and you're working on your wrist this is also another way to do the wrist curl if you have access to an equipment such as this then by all means use it my dad is such a badminton fanatic that he put it all around the center all the stable walls that he could find he, uh, he asked someone to do it to attach this to put the bar a rope and the weight okay so from here you're gonna twist and turn your wrist now when you have to let it go do not just drop it okay so again you work it outwards okay so there's an inward outward movement that will help your wrist again this is moving the bar inwards and then moving it out so if you want to improvise at home you can actually get a maybe a wood this wide attach a string to it and then put some weight on it so the weight will depend on how much strength you want to work on so if you're pretty strong then you can make it a little heavier okay so as you can see my dad attached these in the center for the players to use so you'll see it there you'll see it over there and then also on the other walls so you will see it on different walls 
And if you do have access to it, then use it. Keep on working those fingers, hand, wrist, and forearm, and in no time, you will have a stronger and better badminton game. For strengthening of other muscle groups, click on the links that you see on your screen. Level up your game and be the next smashing success.